YG is actively preparing for the re-debut of the Baby Monster Girls on April 1st, with the highly anticipated return of Aeon. At midnight on March 19th, Baby Monster officially revealed the tracklist for their first mini-album. Not surprisingly, in addition to two new songs, the hip-hop dance title track Sheesh and the B-side Like That, the remaining five songs are remixes with the participation of all seven members from Baby Monster's previously released tracks. Alongside this, YG also didn't hesitate to show how important Aeon's comeback is. She not only captivated everyone with her striking visual and top-notch charisma, but also her wide range of vocals, from the angelic sweet voice in the snippet, Stuck in the Middle, to the powerful voice in the Baby Monster intro snippet. Furthermore, YG founder Yang Hyun Suk revealed that after Aeon's amazing pre-debut cover of Charlie Puth's song, Dangerously, the singer had gifted Baby Monster the song Like That. With the comeback of the ace card a Hyun it's no surprise that Yang Hyun Suk himself considers Baby Monster's first mini album as the group's official debut. However, while excitement about the upcoming debut of the Baby Monster Girls is steadily increasing, it seems to be slightly overshadowed by allegations that Yang Hyun Suk is using them to revive his public reputation, as he himself announced everything about the girls. It's evident that Baby Monster is the only lifeline helping YG survive and fill the void left after Blackpink girls leaving. Recently, financial experts confirmed that with Blackpink's activities on hold, the music group contributed 80% of YG's sales, causing the company's stock price to fall by double-digit percentages this year. It has been 105 days since YG announced that Blackpink would extend their group activities contract, but there are still no signs of their comeback. However, not only in music, but now fans also find it very difficult to see the four girls reunite, as they rarely find themselves in the same country due to their busy individual schedules. Recently, the four girls were together in Korea, yet they still missed the opportunity to celebrate How You Like That's 1 billion streams on Spotify together. However, despite these pity-inducing things, fans are very excited about the busy individual schedules of the Blackpink girls after they left YG. Recently, netizens praised Loud for hiring a large group of professional bodyguards to protect Lisa at ICN Airport as she was heading to Thailand, something YG rarely provided when she was still with the company. Lisa will transit in Bangkok before returning turning to Koh Samui to continue filming the third season of the HBO hit TV series The White Lotus. It's delightful that Lisa will celebrate her 27th birthday with her family in her hometown. Meanwhile, besides being busy filming for her dramas, Jisoo is also actively promoting various brands. Recently, Jisoo attended the launching event of the Dyson Supersonic Neural Hairdryer at the XYZ Seoul in Seong Sudong. This event also marks Jisoo's first brand endorsement campaign as an ambassador. She looked stunning in a Blue Marines floor Oral applique mini dress, effortlessly commanding attention at the main event while posing and chatting with James Dyson, founder and chief engineer of Dyson. However, fans were surprised that besides the photos shared by Jisoo and Dyson, there was no coverage from any reporters about Jisoo's presence at this significant event for both her and the brand. What do you think about it? Meanwhile, Rose has been relatively quiet recently as she focuses on recording in the studio, with rumors circulating that she has started shooting the music video for her highly anticipated up upcoming album, RS2. Rosé recently revealed, There is nothing else that makes me happier than being in a studio, working on music, and performing for you all. So let's continue to patiently await what she will bring to us. Before that, Rosé was said to be heading to New York in early April to attend a Remoa event. Meanwhile, just like Rosé, Jenny is also busy preparing for her new music. On March 19th, Jenny's agency confirmed that she would not be appearing on the variety show My Name is Gabriel, despite being offered to join by JTBC. Additionally, Odd Atelier also affirmed that Jenny has no plans to appear on variety shows at the moment due to being occupied with preparing for her first solo album. However, detractors seized this opportunity to mock her, suggesting that her main reason for refusal is due to the 404 apartment reaching a low rate. Immediately, fans came to her defense, showcasing Jenny's huge influence on apartment 404 both domestically and globally. 